What I've done was I have cut the periodontal ligaments all the way around using this type of a long Orban knife because this tooth broken half, it's a really long root. This is a tapered long long drill in the palatal canal. Sir, look at that root. That's pretty long. Snug, pull this out. Okay. Put the fulcrum tray. There we go. There's the tooth. Ah. Uh. Multi roots. All right, we're done. Yeah, he's got pus in there. It means he's got an infection. Open. Done deal, dude. Look at that. Sweet. No pressure. No pressure okay, feel a little pressure. There it is. We're done. Between the root of the tooth 
and the bone will loosen up. Pressure, okay. There it is. There's the root. See a little pop in the root. Snug, release, open bag, open. Put the ball in the socket, have it. Press, press it, okay. There we go. So it's snug. Unscrew that. And I'm going to put this ball right there. Lift up the root, there we go. Okay. And then screw that. This one here is the pre-app, broken right lateral incisor. Can't be removed with forceps under normal conditions. First we're going to utilize a periotome to break the periodontal ligament connection. Here it's going in on the proximal aspect. We're going to rotate it and use pressure to drive it into place. After we've done that on this, we're going to use a simple uh, luxator and luxate the root just slightly to, be, to begin making sure that it's just a little bit mobile. Obviously we have to remove the pin that's inside the root canal. We're just using a pin remover and rotating it out. We're going to then utilize, uh, we're going to then measure and see which uh, special extraction screws we're going to utilize. We're going to use a two sphere model. We're going to use a 557 burr to open up the canal about four millimeters to five millimeters so we can introduce the extractor pin. And then we're going to use the special tool which puts in about 50 newton centimeters maximum and screw down the extraction screw into the uh, root canal that we opened up a bit. This is a special metal with a silicone to protect the other roots and this looks like a pry bar and with just a little bit of force, just a bit, uh, we're able, then able to pull the tooth right out of the socket. Boom, out it goes. I'm just going to remove it slowly so you can see it. And with minimal effort and no trauma to the bone, and no trauma to the tissue, we're ready to go. Well, the root socket was intact, so now we're going to go ahead and use a, a pilot burr and with some copious irrigation, and the bone seems pretty soft. Go ahead now, and we're going to place our Blue Sky Bio Trilobe compatible implant in place, prosthetically compatible with no bone replace. It has very aggressive apical threads so that even though the bone is soft, it will lock in nicely. And now the cover screw, the cover screws are compatible with both an O4A driver and the Nobel Unigrip driver. It's in all the way. We'll um, put in the temporary in place. And there's the x-ray of it in place. And in about four months or so, we'll be ready to receive.